Wait, that looks a lot like the uh, the motor that was in the in the Ranger. What? Oh, oh, something happened. My motor's gone. <clears throat> now I took it out. It's gone. We're out. <clears throat> Nothing special to it. I just gotta keep the mounts just in case I could use it to fab something up. Here's the uh, the Fairmont. It still has the uh, Alice motor in there. So all we gotta do is bring it from here into there. I ordered some mounts, uh, some swap universal mounts that I'll probably weld in or hack up in some fashion, but plenty of room in there. Motor. Turbo one, turbo two, and we'll be done. Not much to it. Uh, as you can see, this is where motors come to die. Ford, seven and a half rear, 240SX automatic, 2.3 turbo, dead. Inline six from the, from the Fairmont. And there's a Volvo motor ah, with part of the rod sticking out. So, not just one, but two ginormous holes. But anyway, the main deal is that we finish up on the, the Ranger. This isn't going to take very long. I had a chance to look at the fuel system uh, yeah, when I was done with the Sawzall, obviously. Uh, let's go down here, uh, check out the fuel system real quick. I could already tell by the front that it was a returnless setup. Um, but as we can see down here, so zoomed in. As we can see down here, um, it's got the regulator all-in-one type of shit. It sends one fuel hose to the front. Uh, where's my hand? Here it is. So we'll probably just delete this fuck. I can either put the regulator in the front and do return setup, or I could put the regulator back here and just send one line to the front and do return list. That's for me to decide. Here's the gas tank right here. I already have a drop and pump that we're gonna put in there. As you know, <clears throat> we're gonna be running E85 as usual. Uh, I've never done an E85 LS motor, but I have done E85 on all my four cylinder builds. So, ah, fuck. That's what we'll be doing. Got all the important shit back there, the grill. We did <clears throat> go full savage. And we cut out the radiator support. See, there you can see where it used to be. Just to make taking out the motor easy. It's over here. I don't want to have to lift it up as high. So I just cut it out. I could either weld it back in, or I could make one tubular or something of that nature. But uh, I definitely made taking out the engine really easy. So. Now we just gotta clean up whatever oil I spilled on the floor. And, uh, ooh, there was me. And button everything up, just wait for parts to come in at this point. Probably gonna power wash the engine bay, keep it clean, cut out the rest of the exhaust because I'm not gonna need that shit. Right? Who needs a little rinky dinky pipe like that? <clears throat> what would be really dope, I don't know what they're called or where to find them, but like the F250 diesel. Venturi tips, you know, they got like like Venturi effect type of shits on the side with like twin tips. That would be pretty fucking cool. Uh, I could either put it there or in front of like the, the tire if I don't feel like doing too much piping. But uh, this is where we stand, you know, built for top of Chevy stuff. Crazy swaps always. Remember to subscribe. Remember, I want to get this project done. This ain't some fucking project that lasts months and months and months. We're going to get this done, over with, and we'll be leaving 11s and doing stupid shit in no time. Peace. And gents, there's the Ranger. Here's the car. There's the LS motor coming out. Behind is the TH400. Uh, I think we got this pretty secured already. Uh, we just got to come up and out and into that fuck. And um, once we're done with that, we're good to go. I'm releasing the uh, transmission now and the front motor mounts up and out with the old trusty hoist. Uh, we got LS intake there. So that's what we're going with for now. 
Be back in a second. Woo! Just like that with a little bit of camera magic. Bang, we're out. Uh, all right, that wasn't easy, but she's out. As you can see, we have the TH400 JW Bell. That's what it's called. I don't know, I bought it like that. It's been fine since. Uh, some God knows what eBay converter. And uh, old tried and true. <sighs> Not to put her in the fucking pig. If anybody wants or is interested, I got an AJE K member. Caster camber plates from UPR, the billet wands. I got the UPR coilovers. Uh, some fucking, I don't know, some UPR control arms. Uh, some hack job manual, not manual, but a uh, rag joint delete solid steering shaft uh just throw me an offer it's all for sale so and i'm gonna scrap this pig here uh obviously i'm keeping the cobra wheels and the cobra brakes and whatever other stuff i have on here but here she is let's see what we can do now